Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're ready. Oh, it is. You have to wake up at like four in the morning. Oh, my God. And then just you ready for me? The election, the sun, the stars Okay. All right. Okay. Um, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the November 7th meeting of the Land Acquisition and Preservation Committee. Let's uh, start. Let me start with uh, the notice of recording. Um, please note that this meeting is recorded and broadcast on Channel 18 in accordance with MGL Chapter 38, Subsection 20. I must inquire whether anyone is taping this meeting, and if so, please make their presence known. Seeing none, we'll continue. Uh, my name is Ann Kennedy. I'm the chair, and I'd like to have our members please introduce themselves. Elisa Crowley, Barnstable. Doug Payson, Barnstable Village. Chris Clark, Town Council Liaison. Liz Lewis, West Barnstable. Kate Gulliver, Hyena Support. Barley Lewis, Hyena Support. Jenna Zeno, Administrative Assistant. Great, thank you. Okay, the first order of business today is the approval of minutes. Um, I have to thank Gina for a perfect set of minutes. That was, you know, I mean, I didn't have to change anything, so it was just amazing to get them. Um, so, thank you. Is there a second? Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Thank you very much. That, that was very good. So let's go out of order a little bit. Um, um, let's start with old business because we have, uh, I think it'll be a longer discussion for some of the other things. So um, I'd like to start with an update on the status of the outstanding conservation restrictions, and I do have news. Not, a, not, a, not that exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Penn, and, uh, Penn, which is also known as Tonella, is, has been signed by the town council president and the town, council, town manager and is now being sent up to the state for their signatures after they are, are signed, which shouldn't take very long. They will be then recorded, so they will be done. Wakeby has been recorded um, and Sylvia has, is, has been signed and is on its way to the state. Um, Prince, Harju, and Amaral are still awaiting state approval. Um, I don't know how we can push that along any more than we have already tried, um, but it's just not a high priority because, ironically, there's no time crunch on them. The other ones had time, they had to be signed by a certain time. I did point out that you know, you could hardly say that six years after a, a uh, property was purchased that these conservation restrictions uh, six years later are timely placed on a property, which is what is required by the law. So that nobody cares when I say things like that. But, um, you know, that that's, that's the irony of the whole thing. So hopefully it won't get lost in the administration change, um, and hopefully the town will keep, keep, a, keep a watch on those. If I may. So, um, uh, if I the may update chair. on the Pathways Project, I also have news chair. about that. If I, if I may just chime in, I was speaking to someone else not commit, connected to this committee who is in another town working on conservation restrictions, and they know that there's a backlog at the state level and that there's um, vacancies that aren't being backfilled. Yeah. So, yeah. They did fill the vacancy, but um, they're, they're going by priorities, which again are these time sensitive conservation restrictions. So. And for, for what it's worth, when I pulled up the 2019 minutes, for, um, sure enough under CRs, yeah. pending CRs, Prince Av, Harju Amaral, Sure. I know. I, mean, I was a town councilor when we passed when we bought these properties. Yeah. And that's ancient history. Right. So, all right. So, here we go. Status of connector bridge behind the U.S. Customs House. This is from David Anthony. 
our new property manager, and that's another piece of news I'll talk to you about in a minute, has begun review of the efforts made to date to finalize the notice of intent to go to conservation. Drawings and plans are complete, and she will be instrumental in getting this to completion. She has spoken to Love Malakoff. Okay, so this is probably a good time to tell you that um, asset management has uh, welcomed Grace Rogers to their team, and she is their property manager as of September 30th. Um, so apparently she's reviewing town property holdings and doing research on acquisition backgrounds for identified properties. So I look forward to meeting with her at some occasion and, and getting up to date with her role going forward. May I, su may I suggest that we invite her to a... I'm sorry? May I suggest that we invite her to one of our meetings? Yeah, that would be a very good suggestion. And um, I also would like to meet with her one-on-one -on -one with you and okay. uh, the town council um, liaison, if she'll do it, um, to see what they think her role will be. Can so, I have a question? Pardon me? I have a question. Yes. Will I, she be coordinating all the different town-owned properties? Properties that are managed by the direct by the Department of Public Works by conservation. This that's I and, don't know the answer uh, to that. Um, we had pressed for a, the town to hire a property, a land property manager, and they have instead um, redirected personnel within the town to this position. So I don't know what the position is, or what it's what is involved, so we'll have a conversation with David Anthony and Grace Rogers and see what Excellent. what that is. That, that's good progress. Yeah. yeah, it's progress. I wonder if they'll review to see if there's something suitable for housing. I'm sorry. I wonder if they'll review it to see if there's something suitable for housing there. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I can't hear you. Microphone. I don't think that'll help, but just talk out loud. I was wondering whether, I don't think this is even on. Um, well, anyways. No, I'm here, I, it, yeah. just try again. I, I'm just wondering if the town will review these properties to see if there's something suitable for housing. I, I don't know, I, again, you know, this is a, I just got this, okay. so I'm not sure what it means, and um, so I, I think it, it's worth our time for Farley as Vice Chair, me, and Chris as liaison to sit down and talk to, um, talk to um, her and to David Anthony and see what, how they envision her role. And, and it's a very good idea to invite her to our next meeting, which we will, we will do that. And this is not a microphone other than it mm. goes to recording. Doesn't make it louder <laughs> to me. <laughs> so, okay, so the other piece of news connected to uh, David and Anthony's office. Um, new plans for additional trails or hi for hikers and bikers are underway and being reviewed. In addition, review and updating the management plans uh, for acquire open space is a renewed goal for asset management now that new staff capacity exists. So, so all right. So then the other thing that he adds, Phyllis, is um, staff support for the Santuit Committee will begin in earnest after the first of the year. After four years. After four years. After, so you, now you can wait till January. And they, they are working with DPW to identify a resource, and between Grace Rogers and David Anthony, they, they will support the management committee. So I, I asked for um, a member of this committee to be included. I don't know if that was heard. We'll see. So that's, that's my news. Um, so the other thing we were going to talk about is the trail library that's that's another that's a piece of good news right mm -hmm. I, I hear you're very excited about um, the young lady that that 
Alicia, from GIS. Alicia Messier. Ali, Alicia Messier. Messier, yep. Could I just ask yeah. just quickly, we didn't address the Centerville Cranberry Bog. Was there any movement? On no, that? I skipping around like crazy. Oh, okay. I'm but sorry. Um, thank you. Uh, no, there's no news as far as I know about the Cranberry Bog. Um, I, I think it's in litigation. Um, and there's no news from the town's point of view uh, on Twin Brooks, um, and I don't think the Cape Cod Commission has posted another meeting. Right. No. So um, the subcommittee was supposed to get together, and they haven't yet, right? Correct. So, so that's in limbo. So, but I do check their website every once in a while to see if there's anything going on. Yeah, nothing. 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 So I don't think it's worth us advocating one way or the other at this point, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So let's talk about the walking library. Farley, what's up with that? Okay. Well, we just recently met um, to discuss the walking library, and um, I have um, Gina did some very good minutes for. For us, so um, do you want me to share those with you? Yeah, I, I just saw that I have them on my okay. phone, but I haven't yeah. looked at them. Okay. So right. maybe you can share them to, with the public too. Okay. Well, I'd have to. Because I know that that's uh, moving along, right? Yep. No, we. Did. I think we made good progress, and I think um, GIS is um, going to be a great um, sort. Yes, definitely. So. And, and Alicia is yep. is. Uh, a trails enthusiast herself. Yep. Um, she's taking initiative. They're um, mapping all all trails, kind of starting all from a baseline because over the years they've been uh, tracked with different GPS machinery. Yep. Mm -hmm. So sorry, I, I didn't mean to take over. I just wait, wanted you to get your phone out. Yep. Okay. I know, and you also sent around a um, notice of a meeting. Um, that's during the day, unfortunately. Um, what, what was that, Wednesday? Yeah, uh, and this was brought to our attention by Alicia from GIS. She, mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. She honed in on um, uh, a tr uh, mass trails uh, mm -hmm. workshop. Workshop, right. So I hope somebody here can attend. It's a she Zoom. So she's going. Um, and uh, uh, I'm probably uh, working. But and it's free. It is free, no cost. Oh yeah, free, no cost, Zoom. So did everybody get the reference? Mm -hmm. So hopefully somebody can, uh, you don't have to probably sit through the whole thing, but you know, it might be interesting to tune in and at beginning anyway and see what, if it's of interest to you. And then you can, somebody can tell me about it. So. You want the printed version? It's okay. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Chris. That would be easier. Yeah, I'm just going through this. Thanks so much. Sir. That's great. Um, so, I think that. Um, Can you talk into the microphone, Mar Farley? Yep, I will. Um, so, Alicia said she's going to update all the existing maps. Remove. Um, we have it, an existing library that Jim Lenoit um, put together for us uh, quite a few years ago. And um, so she's going to kind of update those. And um, then we have some, uh, some uh, information that's available for each of these walks that we have mapped, but we need to work further on them. And so we're going to try to follow the walking weekend format for each trail and then um, get that all put together and I guess we're trying we're uh, not exactly clear whether we what kind of format we're going to put it in and whether it's going to be um, how it's going to be presented. Alicia was going to um, confer with the webmaster for the town to see if he had a preferred format already you know in to work with before they construct this, this, this matrix that we envision where people can, residents and visitors can sort by degree of difficulty, length of time, village. 
yeah. uh, for, for walks and start with a modest six to 10 walks and every year try to um, expand these, these um, walks that will have an, an attached map that somebody could print out and take with them to the field. I think uh, one of the points that was stressed was the fact that, that there needs to be a continuity and standardization right. of the maps and how they're blazed. And so how the <coughs> trails are placed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that we, we need to, um, apparently, <coughs> there's some colors that are not um, acceptable, like um, red and, and green, I think. Well, red's okay. Blue and green. Blue and green. Blue, blue, blue and green. And blue and can't see. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. okay, so red's good. Yeah. Blue and green. Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah, there so might we need be, to But there might be different shades that, are, that will work. No, no, green. Not, no, no blue and green. Okay. All right. So we need to go to either white or yellow. You know, yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. I wouldn't do different shades, one color. That's too confusing. No, yeah. I meant a particular, like, a like a yellow. Some work on it. Uh, yes. And, yep. Uh, Will so Holden. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I do think yeah. there's sort of a universal code, too, uh, isn't there, da 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 uh, Doug? Hmm. Doug should know. Doug has uh, an interest in these trails that... Yeah. I mean, like yeah, and it was unfortunate on Friday I got a call to show a house so I couldn't oh. come to the meeting at the last yeah. So unfortunate he had to make money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but I, I, I am interested, and one of the things that I'm a little concerned about is where the trail follows the road, if we might consider a medallion in the, in the pavement or a marking in the pavement. For example, like on the red trail through parts of West Barnstable, oh. it's not, it's on the roads along some parts of it. Mm -hmm. And the same in Barnstable Village, the Village, red trail is along yeah. the mm -hmm. roads. If this should be, if that same, uh, like, I, I, I know when I was uh, in Nashville, they have bronze trail mm -hmm. uh, markers set in the asphalt. Mm -hmm. Okay. We could do it with paint, you, you, yeah. you, you know, so that someone could follow. Okay. I'm thinking, like, along Pine Lane, for example, where the red trail goes up Pine Lane, that we would have some way for people to... Yeah, Old Jail Lane. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's another one where people could find. Yeah. 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 To know to keep going. This is, yeah. this is, this is the trail. Yeah. This the, the, because it's on yeah. the road, it doesn't mean it's not still a part of it. On the right. trail. Yeah. So um, are you uh, meeting regularly? Is this group meeting regularly? Um, we haven't set our next, our next meeting date yet. Um, I think we're kind of digesting everything. We've got a bunch of um, points that you know we need to work on, um, and uh, perhaps by the new year we'll have a time. We, if you don't mind, um, yep. one one thing we agreed on is to at least in this beginning just um, provide loop walks so that it'll bring people back to their car. Yeah. Um, and right. the second thing, um, I forgot. Oh, that it was, um, we're anticipating the spring walks to be in May. May. We and have. perhaps this preliminary walking, walk, walking library document could be ready to be launched in advance of that. Good. That's, is that ambitious, but it's good. Yeah. No, May, we targeted May 5th through the 7th for, for spring yeah. walking weekend, spring walking weekend. Okay. So. Weekend before Mother's Day. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Um, so if you, if anybody's out walking um, the trails and they have the Gaia um, app on their phone, if you want, if you see a problem, you can take a picture and mark it on your map and send it into mm -hmm. conservation. Mm -hmm. Let me see if that. Yeah, that's helpful. So they have determined it would be sent to conservation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, 
It's either conservation or DPW. So conservation you, has to be willing to accept it the, and they want it. So maybe, maybe, we, okay. uh, maybe that's what we need to ask David Anthony and okay. yeah. whether or not Grace is the point person that gets these, uh, this information. And then she can decide if it's DPW or conservation. And that would be an issue on the treasure trail because okay. I do believe that it should be closed off where it goes near the yeah. uh, uh, vernal pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm sorry that that bridge thing has not been resolved yet. But I guess we're closer than we have been. Fortunately, because of the drought, there's mm. no water, in, there's no even water in that there. pond no, at it, all. I know. No. Now that's, the grass has grown up, and I yeah. wonder so if this is a perfect time to be doing that then, constructing a bridge. But it looks Probably. until we have floods. <laughs> but the plans, it, it says drawings and plans are complete. So it has to go before uh, I have 10 minutes, guys. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm glad that that's um, moving forward. Really quickly, um, I'm going to meet with Elizabeth uh, Jenkins about the open meeting up, up at the Open Space and Recreation Plan. Um, I'm also going to be talking about Twin Brooks with her. Um, Farley, do you have anything to add about the Community Preservation Committee's open space acquisitions? I was unable to attend the last meeting, but I reviewed the tape. And uh, there is uh, the possibility of a CR um, on a property known as 153 Oakmont um, yep. in the Kamakwit Heights area. So. There's a lot of discussion about it, so it hasn't gone beyond um, the letter of intent. I think yeah, I thought that was a housing request. Yep, it's a presently owned by the Barnstable Housing Authority, and it's under agreement with um, Martin Riley. Martin Riley. Yep. So his his I thought is to have the town purchase that from him for three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Or he would make it into a 40B with eight units. Um, six would be market value, two would be affordable. But they are single units, right? They're single homes. Yeah. Yep. And they are going, they envision them going, um, it's a tree lot, so one after the other up to the highway. Yeah, I mean, it's a very skinny little piece of mm. property, and it abuts. Fire district land. Um, yeah, that's what so I was wondering. I thought that was kind of a well head area. Right. So there is, you know, that aspect. Apparently, the um, fire district is unable to purchase it uh, due to budgetary constraints. Um, so. Fire district is unable to purchase it or unwilling to purchase it? Unable, from what I can understand. Mm -hmm. So, um, but it's, you know, it, as most people were saying, it's a terrible place to put housing because there's no access to any, you know, services or transportation. And it's just kind of out there, so. Well, it's in a neighborhood. <coughs> right, well. I mean, as far as the affordable housing goes, they'd have no access to public, public trans transportation. transportation. Right, you'd have to drive ev everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Those would yeah. be moderate income. Yeah, they're not really. Units, though. They wouldn't be affordable. It's more like the ones in Hyannis that Jock Morin built off of Finney's Lane. I mean, off of Hitcher's Way. That's what, that would be the, like those houses. At any rate, it's. Which aren't uh, bad. There, there were quite a few questions from the committee yeah. to find out more about why um, the Housing Authority hasn't develop the land on its so, own yeah. or um, why, you know, it wasn't available on the open market. Um, yeah. So we'll see. A lot of interesting questions. I know that I've given Lindsay Council two properties to look at, so I don't want to mention what they are yet, but um, mm -hmm. okay. 
One's in, uh, one's in Centerville and one is in West Barnstable. So, so um, okay, so let's talk about, I have, I really have to leave like five, 10 minutes ago. Um, but uh, real quickly. Get that clock is clock wrong. Clock is not right. Hope it's wrong. It is, it's, it's only six o'clock. 5.55. Yeah. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> 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 for time. You know, that's what ha I got in the car and I said, oh my God. Yeah. I am yeah. like yeah. so late. It is pulled off. <laughs> <laughs> the only one who so can I, that. I know. So can I chime Good in? Good job, Douglas. Can I chime in from um, town council? Report? Yeah. Quickly, I'll say that um, I had the pleasure of going for the first time to the Hyannis Chamber of Commerce annual meeting. And um, I'll pass these around. <clears throat> I took pictures of their banner, and it shows how they are touting trails. So I, um, I emailed the CEO. I thanked for a lovely evening, and uh, said, um, you know, perhaps uh, one of these days it might be an opportunity, since you celebrate the trails of town of Barnstable, to partner with um, a grant proposal to improve our trails. Yep. So um, he wrote that, um, apologize for being late, for love you. to discuss trails with you. Would you or someone you know be interested in writing an article for our 2023 guidebook? I'd love to add a piece about town walkers, for example. Oh, I'd like to suggest Doug Payson. <laughs> I would do it. He offered no, it. Right? Great. I would do it. And, well, and w we'll have to talk about parameters mm -hmm. Because I think one of the things that we, I'm really big on connecting the trails to sidewalks and mm -hmm. having not everybody, I, I, I think we work under a data model when we drive to a conservation area, mm -hmm. walk a little loop, and then drive somewhere else and walk. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, connecting it all together. And then also, um, the multi-use paths we have in town. Mm -hmm. That is uh, something the Department of Conservation and Recreation that I'm on, ha we've talked about connectivity <laughs> and multi-use trails. So like there are snowmobile mobile trails that are wide enough that horses could go on it and, you know, it's a, but it's not the ideal place to be walking. You know, or you could ride a bike or, or ride your snowmobile or ride your horse, but not a good idea to like walk. But so, um, yeah, so that's good. That would be a good, you're a good one yeah, to do I that. Yeah, and I take feedback from everyone on what they'd like to focus on. So I have no idea what kind of timeline, but I asked yeah, and, I and how length. Chris, could you follow up for uh, Doug and get some particulars for him? I already asked. Okay, and then, and then, then Greg, I mean, uh, I don't know why I keep calling you everything but Doug. Um, then Doug can, you know, do his I, thing. So I, um, I'm requesting that when you have your um, meeting with Elizabeth Jenkins, that you also ask to be um, introduced to their new grant writer. I went looking for her, but they were in a meeting. There's a new grant writer? That's I'm fainting. <laughs> And that this grant writer could partner with perhaps Alyssa. Yeah, Ali well, yes, there's plenty uh, on, of plenty, plenty of grants trail out staff there. And, and offer that the um, Chamber of Commerce might be a, a good partner yep. when it comes to um, patching together a uh, grant proposal. Yeah. So do you want yep. this or do you want yeah. this? That should be part of our minutes, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, okay. And also, the Cape Cod Chamber, they have trail maps on their website. And they're pretty good, too. Yeah, those are the ones that Lev Malikoff um, created. Yeah. So I am very hopeful with um, some new staff and being fortified mm -hmm. with the things that uh, we are concerned about and are referenced in the Open Space and Recreation Plan. Good. All right. So um, the last thing we want to talk about is um, the first thing on the agenda, which is um, some years ago uh, when 
Jessica Rappacorsetti was our liaison. Um, we, I guess in 2019, when we started talking about it, we, as a committee, thought we should change our name to be more reflective of what we are, which is an open space committee. And so we wanted to um, change our name to open space committee, mm -hmm. and we wanted to um, polish up some of our charges um, and to clarify some of our charges and to include um, like the charge to educate um, and to present. Yeah. Thank you. I don't, I don't have it electronically. Only okay. Um, all right. So uh, to, uh, to educate the public, because a lot of things we do do uh, falls outside of our charge. Like we do have speakers talk about trails and um, um, herring runs and things like that that are not mm -hmm. technically part of our charge, but are outside of our interest. And don't get exposed anywhere else in any of the other committees. So um, off camera and um, mindful of the open meeting law, but off camera, I did have a discussion with Alyssa Crowley and she agreed that she would um, tackle this um, with Farley Lewis and we would polish it up and give it to Chris, our liaison, to present to the agenda committee as an item to place on the agenda. And then we would come and uh, advocate for it when it came up on the agenda. My, my, we, I realize I was a member of this committee <laughs> and not a counselor, but running to be a counselor at this time we had this discussion. Yep. And um, I was looking for, you. Sh I showed you the minutes, um, the prior, March, April, May, or something like that, where most of the work was done. And then um, came the fall, change of, um, of um, leadership at the town council, and then came COVID. And then COVID, yep. And I realized, though, th that it got So it's been there. I, it's been sitting on my desk for four years. But four, most of the work has been years, done. Three and years. Consensus. Yep. Yeah. So it is time to do it. So that's what we'll do. And so hopefully by next meeting, yeah, yeah good. we can give that to you. And I'd also like to say, I'd like to do it in tribute to Councilor Jessica rapp Grassetti, who with you helped author this. And while she's still in office, mm -hmm. um, she'll be term limited this time next year. When, oh, so she's got another year though. Yes, but okay. you, know, you know firsthand the months of March, April, May, June is yeah, budget a little busy. stuff. But this one, this is not heavy. This isn't really a heavy lift hopefully for the not. council. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, ho hopefully it can be put on even if you're in the middle of um, capital capital budget or something. I just okay. have a question. All right. Does um, anybody? Yeah. When you mentioned advocating to the town council, uh, are, are town council meetings going to be open to public? I mean, to in person, in -person. meetings? Yeah. yeah. It began to be in person. The reason why it wasn't the, these last two meetings is because that hearing room is locked because it's being used for early voting. Okay. And it and only the town clerk has the key to that. It's okay. been very secure. So I do anticipate that we'll be going back to in-person meetings. Okay. It's just this was the only yeah. about time <laughs> place we can we can go and meet again. Okay. That's yeah. great news. But it's it's all in deference to the um, to the voting uh, protocol. Okay. Okay. Does anybody have anything else they want to talk about? No. Anybody dying to talk about anything? <laughs> no, uh, no. Okay. Just so you know, I, so I, Phyllis, you don't what do you have to say? Not, nothing. Adjourn. I, well, oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait. Oh. It says one more Sorry, thing. I just wanted to say I did find, a, find notes from January 15th, 2020, so I was oh. a new counselor at that time, that um, we met Ann, Farley, Jessica, David, I believe it's David Houghton, and um, Karen Nober met to discuss the um, uh, restructuring of the language for our charge. So it did have some do you, traction. Do you have that actual <coughs> charge? Okay. 
I mean, oh, so, so what what is it that we're, we would be called? And said she open space it. committee. Oh, good. Open space okay. committee. So we have okay. a template have, to go on. Uh, have, it, it, we're not changing the charge, in, really. I have this in paper, but I don't have the electronic okay. version. So it was just cleaning up the language. Um, okay. If you want to pass yeah, it I mean, it's basically the same thing that we did before. Uh, we do want to add the part about educating the public. Um, yeah, so but it's about the same. To this discussion here. Okay. Yeah. Nothing, nothing really earth shattering. Nothing. Like so, that. all right, your turn. Yes, I knew we had time. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a second? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Okay. You're so good at that, fellas.